antibodies to help protect them. People have jobs, people have lives. Do we need to be able to continue? In American society, that requires you to have a car. So that's where we're at on that plan. What I'm asking with that is that this community resign yourself to stay at least through tonight. If I get an answer from the state and Raul's able to reinforce that bridge, as soon as they tell me it's passable, We'll come over and start letting people know. We'll try to arrange an orderly, calm, no traffic jam, no heartache, ability for people to drive out. Short of that, it's probably going to be sometime tomorrow to have that alternate route figured out, planned, and safely put together. And by safely put together, I'm not talking about laying a bunch of logs and a couple pipes across the river. <laughs> Because if anybody has seen the river, it's still not exactly the animal we know. And one person in that river is one more person to die that has not died yet. We currently have zero fatalities out of this incident for lions. My goal, Victoria's goal, and the sheriff's goal is we maintain that big fat zero no matter what your discomfort level. You being uncomfortable and unhappy today is much better than one of you being deceased tomorrow because of it. All I'm asking, all we're asking, is that you reach down inside and find that fortitude to be patient, to know that we are working round the clock with all the resources we can get to get you a safe egress from here. In the interim, we've been sending over regular medical supplies, medical updates to your local medical support group, which most refugee environments don't have the luxury of. In the event of a major trauma or medical emergency, we will bring a flight for life in to take that person out. 